In this video I'm going to show you how to adjust the widths in the Gutenberg column block with Bootstrap. So lately I've been playing with Bootstrap and if you follow any of my projects you know that I create a lot of themes and courses around WordPress that also include Bootstrap. So as you can see here this is Strappress theme. Um, I've been kind of converting it over to use the, boot, the Gutenberg blocks so as I was playing with it, I noticed you can add columns. So let's go in here and let's just edit one of these posts. And down here, let's add a column block. So we just go to columns here. You notice that you can add as many columns as you want. So if you go and you select the column or the actual column block, you can go over here and set different columns. But I didn't see any way to do different widths in there. So let's go ahead and just add some content here so I have some example to work with put that in there, put that in there, update it and let's check out the front end here so you can see here I have two columns but what happens if I want you know one to be a little bit bigger than the other one so maybe eight columns and you know that one be four so we can go in here and we can actually add bootstrap classes so in order to do this you obviously need to have bootstrap you know inside your theme or inside a plugin that's adding it to your theme so you can use these different classes. So one thing we can do is go to the overall columns here. You can see that it's selecting that whole column. You can you can click around and try to get to it as well. It's kind of hard. Like if you click that, that selects it as well. But what we want to do is add the bootstrap classes for the columns. So if you go on get bootstrap.com, you can go to layout over here and it goes over the grid system and how you can use the grid. So you can see here you use row and then whatever column classes you want. So if we go into here, I'm gonna set this one to row, update that, so that's the overall column container. And if I go and refresh the front end, you can see that's already kinda of doing things here. If we look right here, you can see that class row has been added to that div right there. So the next thing we want to do is just add the classes that we want. So let's make this an, it's a 12 grid column system. So you can read about it in the grid system. So I'm going to make this one 8 and this one 4. So if I go here, you can see I'm selecting the paragraph there. I don't want that. I actually want the column above the paragraph. So again, you can kind of click around in here to try to find it. But I normally just go up here and click this column. And then it just gives me that column right there. So here I can do the same thing in this advanced CSS classes. So I'm going to do call medium 8. All right, and then the same thing with this one over here. I'm going to do call medium 4 and update that. So if we refresh the front end again, you can see we kind of got something going on here. But if you notice, if you inspect one of these items here, you can see that my classes are being added, call medium 8 and call medium 4. If I click on that, you can see that the Gutenberg plugin is automatically adding styles. You can see this margin is our, it's being added with the Gutenberg plugin. So in my theme, I could actually go in there and you know overwrite these styles. But Bootstrap also has some utility classes that I can use. If you go to utilities here, um, you can do spacing. And there's all these different spacing things that you can use. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to override this margin with some more classes. So if I go into this column here, I'm just going to do margin zero. So that's utility. I'm going to select all the margin on this and set it to zero. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other column as well. Margin dash zero. So in this spacing, you can read about it. You can select which side. So for example, if I just wanted to do the left, I could do ML-0. You're not going to just target the left-hand side. Same for the top, same for the bottom. But in this example, I'm just doing everything. So if I update that, refresh here, you can see that now I have a 8 and a 4. And as I shrink my browser down, you know, and make it responsive in different devices, you can see that this breaks and you know goes to a stacked columns as well. Goes to double and then goes to eight. So that's pretty cool. You can um, use the other grid classes, for example, if you wanted maybe that to 
break sooner and be uh, even six and six. You know, you could use the different classes as well. Some other things you could do is use some of these other utilities. Um, do maybe like a border. Then we could do like a border border left on our on this one over here. So let's go into this column. Let's create a border left there and refresh that. So now we got a little border going. So as we add more things to this, so let's add some more columns. Copy that, paste it in there, paste that in there. See, we get a little, it's close right there. So again, we could use some column, I mean some classes again, say margin bottom five. Have it, give it some spacing there. Or you could also use, Gutenberg has a, a spacer. So common blocks maybe. I'm still kind of getting used to this formatting. No layout elements. So spacer right there. So I could easily put a spacer in there as well and you know add as much space as I want, but that margin does it as well. But you'll notice as you go down, see I haven't added any styles to this. As you go down and you get to like right there, we have this little issue right here. So again, I could go into my style sheet and you know remove whatever's causing that. See it looks like there's some margin right there. That's causing that but again if you have bootstrap already in your theme I could just go down here select that column and then I could do a margin right zero and update that and then when I shrink down now it's still there oh, because I used right and that's actually on the left hand side duh uh, left update that <clears throat> refresh and now when I hit that you can see that they're even so that's just something I could do at the default columns so that's a quick example of how you can use the bootstrap classes to kind of set some columns you can see I just used some paragraph text here but you know as I build out this design or this this layout for this individual post you know maybe I could have some widget areas over there or a call out or just something different so it makes it look nice as you're reading down this page you know a quote or whatever it might be it just gives your design something nice to look at as you're reading through the text hope that helps